On Tuesday, October the 29th, the assassination was reported in our territory of Brother Charles Truman Wesco, an American missionary serving with Calvary Baptist Church in Sarga. Of course, I didn't know him. None of us here at the interim government did. But I address him as a brother because we all shared the same faith, the same gospel, and the same Savior, Jesus Christ. We have gathered since the brutal assassination of the man of God that only two weeks ago, he had moved his entire family to the southern Cameroons and Bazonia, a white country, carrying along with him only one thing, not a gun, no a bomb, but a burden to reach the people of Ambazonia with the gospel of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We have also learned of the magnitude of his burden, so great it was, that for over two years, Brother Truman and family raised money, saved some, and sold everything they had, including their prized home in Indiana, to move the entire family to Ambazonia to spread the gospel. But little did the family know they were moving to the land of terror, a land under invasion and occupation by a neighboring country whose president, Paul Bia, is a terrorist whose governors are terrorists, mayors and divisional officers, all terrorists, of course. They are soldiers, the police, and the gendarmes too, all terrorists. If anything, events of recent times in the checkered history of both countries portray French Cameroon leaders, from Paul Beer, the president, to his divisional officers, perpetrating such abuses and massacres that even Boko Haram has not indulged in. We have seen video footages of poor BS soldiers shooting innocent women to death with their children strapped behind their backs in northern Cameroon. And we are seeing even more of such horrific killings committed in the southern Cameroons and Bazonia on a daily basis. Paul Beer has killed more Ambazonians within one year, one year, than the number that Boko Haram has killed in both Nigeria and Cameroon combined. And if you have any doubt about this, just look into Twitter or Facebook you will see the bands of footages and images coming from there every day. We will, we will not mince words here. When it concerns matters of life and why Paul Beer is emboldened to commit the crimes he continued to commit. Paul Beer was tutored into becoming a terror, a monster, thanks partly to the international community, paying a blind eye to his long years of human rights excesses and the world powers resolve to keep him in power for decades for their own greed. The Commonwealth of Nations as an organization, the United Nations, the European Union, Great Britain, France and of course the United States, in spite of the overwhelming evidence of crime, continue throughout Paul Beard 26 years of power to dine with him in spite of the fact that Cameroonians have, poll after poll, rejected him 
as their leader. The international community's complicity in keeping poor beer this long in power sold a false picture of tranquility, peace and security in Cameroon. The reason why innocent people and of course foreigners like missionaries like brother Truman continue to pour into the country believing in the false security promises that a country is safe, secure and stable. Such false sense of security pushed brother Truman and his entire family to move into the southern Cameroons where he met his assassins barely two weeks in the territory. And Bazunians did not kill him, nor prod or had a hand in his assassination. If anything, if anything, Ambazonians loved him and loved his family too. Amongst Ambazonians, just like the rest of the missionaries of Calvary Baptist Church, in the small community of Sabga where he served, he mixed freely with Ambazonians to the extent that he needed no security to go about his life in the community. Had it not been for the false sense of security that Paul Beer and the West as co-conspirators have painted of this country called Cameroon, Brother Truman would still be alive today. But he is gone. He is gone. The only strength for those of us left behind who love him, including every Amazonian who loved him, rests in the fact that he loved Jesus. And he was killed doing exactly what Jesus would want him to do. Even so, even so, the poor Bias regime must be held to account for the dead to the full satisfaction of his family and friends as to the circumstances under which he was shot and of course who shot him. The family and well wishers can only find rest after knowing that proper and full investigation has been carried out and perpetrators of the murder sent to the asylum that belongs to assassins. We note here that Brother Truman was the fourth pastor to be killed within a few months in Ambazonia by French Cameroon soldiers. Two were Ambazonians, one a Ghanaian, another missionary, and of course Brother Truman. The question is, how many more would have to be killed or sent to their early graves before the world wakes up to what is happening in the southern Cameroons? Before the world wakes up to the genocide in, in the southern Cameroons? Only two weeks ago, President Donald Trump brought home to the USA from Turkey to the jubilation of America another American missionary falsely accused and convicted in that country, Turkey. What President Trump did, something previous President Barack Obama did not do, sent a message to the world that not only the lives of American soldiers killed or persecuted abroad matters, but equally that lives of American missionaries too and no matter where they are, whether Europe, Asia or Africa, the life of American, every American, whether born or adopted, will be defended at all costs and with all the might of America. This interim government of Ambazonia wants to believe in the strength of President Trump that before the cock crows, he would have held the BS regime to account for the assassination of Brother Truman. One thing is sure: the bullet that took that took the, the bullet that took Brother Truman down were French Cameroon soldiers' bullets. 
But the Cameroon government knows how to concoct falsehood and sell to whoever. There are reports that barely a day after the assassination, French Cameroon's Minister of Defense is already reporting that the Air Forces have killed three people in the Bamboo vicinity and they have said that those three were the ones who carried out the assassination of Brother Truman. Nothing can be farther from the truth. We have long known how this regime of poor beer seizes on opportunities such as these to clamp down our race and brutalize innocent people in the guise of looking for perpetrators. We have learned, for example, that in the days ahead, all of Bambili and Bambo vicinities where the missionary was killed are going to be invaded and leveled down to save face for the Americans. The question is, if they have already killed three suspects, whom they believe carried out the assassination. Why? Why would a Kale Kale like invasion be planned for this vicinity? Peace loving citizens are currently vacating their homes in fear of arrest, torture, and murder. One thing is sure. French Cameroon officials have no pedigree for the truth. The so-called three suspects that they say they have apprehended or killed do not exist. If they did, they would have been paraded by now to assuage the anger and wrath of the United States of America. This is what is going to happen. One of these days, the Cameroon government shall be parading some innocent Ambazonians in front of cameras with planted confessions to tell the world how they were the ones who killed the missionary. I know this because they have the pedigree to do this. The Cameroon army has killed innocent people in Ambazonia in the past and then planted guns into their hands to paint them as the perpetrators or paint them as terrorists. The Cameroon army has killed innocent people and Bazonians and then dressed them up in army uniforms to suggest Ambazonians are killing soldiers or that they are terrorists. This is their game and we look forward to seeing it again play out for this missionary in the days to come. That is very, very obvious. But again, one thing stands out very, very clearly in this matter. Nobody else but French Cameroon army shot and killed the missionary. Unfortunately for French Cameroon this time, there is no way, no way they are going to escape from the truth. Their soldiers shot and killed Brother Truman. Bullets recovered from inside of the charred vehicle that the missionary was driving are said to be American marked bullets. Bullets that only French Cameroon soldiers have possession of. These are bullets given French Cameroon to use against the fight on Boko Haram. But which, as in the case of the American supplied helicopter meant to fight Boko Haram, French Cameroon is using to kill civilians in Ambazonia. Apart from this fact, it is going to be hard on French Cameroon to spin this because of the presence of other survivors from the scene of the incident. They will live to tell exactly what they saw, who did it, and how he did it. So French Cameroon can go ahead and conduct and concoct its, its, its Kale Kale randomly picking up and making life unbearable for people in Bamboo and ba in Bambili. The truth is already well established out there. Brother Truman was slaughtered, 
in good health by French Cameroon soldiers. Nothing, nothing that Issa Chiroma comes out to say can hold water. Why they scamper to fix their fraud? The interim government of Ambazonia, on behalf of all Ambazonians, extends once more our heartfelt regrets, sympathies, and condolences to the family of Brother Truman, members of Calvary Baptist Church in Sabga, and his local Baptist Church in Indiana. We are sorry this happened to you. But be encouraged. They took all of his body. They couldn't take his soul. And of course, they can't. To all Ambazonians, we are encouraging every one of you in the diaspora to honor Brother Truman by supporting his family in this time of need in their lives. A GoFundMe campaign is currently going on. You can find the address on your screen. Please, please consider going there to make a generous donation to support the family that has to repatriate his remains from Ambazonia to the USA. Would you be kind enough to do so to Brother Truman? Our final word to you, brother, is Good night. We shall meet again. Thanks for watching. Sesetu, Dr. Kamek is on James of Dallas, Texas, USA. So good. Everybody's in the name. I told